Fine. And these nights, I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara is napping on the couch. And today we are talking about carbon fiber versus micarta. What is better? Or what is better for you? And I got a bunch of different lists of different conversations to have between the two. Let's get into this. So first up, I just want to say that we are doing a knife talk live tomorrow night wednesday every wednesday every saturday 7 30 p.m but tomorrow on wednesdays it's going to be a knife talk um so every wednesday and saturday we do a live and we usually do different um different kinds of lives but tomorrow night is going to be a knife talk and i'd love for you guys to join us during a knife talk i think it'd be awesome to get your perspective on the subject I will reveal the subject during the live. It might even be uh, on the screen. Um, anyways, also I want to say that talking about the Makarta, the Tuya Envy. If you guys know this knife, ooh, the Dave Warren Designs Tuya Envy 2. They just made a Tuya Envy 3 in cross-cut Makarta. Two different colors. That's amazing. First of all, it's amazing. And it looks like they fixed um they fixed the choil right here a little bit. Um but it's a liner lock version of this, which this knife absolutely amazing and is made to the highest standard. I mean, this thing is amazing quality. Amazing. And so it's a cross-cut fiber. So like the cross-cut fibers would be like like say if you're looking at this, not this cut the side cut but this side will be like on the face so basically like you know what i might be able to show it better on um carbon fiber so if you look at this let's see if we can get to come up if not i'll take a picture and throw it in Anyways, it's the side cut fibers, but they're on this side. That's my favorite kind of cut. I don't care if you're talking about micarta or carbon fiber. I love it when it's done like that. Anyways, so go check it out. Um, I've seen some pictures on Instagram. I might even be able to throw up a picture from Dave Warren. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I'd love to check one out. I don't have the funds to get it right now. It's like 229 bucks or something, but I'll tell you what, it's worth every damn penny. M390, and I mean, these knives are amazing, but they are a limited edition. Let's get to this video. All right, so carbon fiber and micarta. What is carbon fiber? I'm going to throw up a little uh, thing right here. You can read it yourself if you want to, but basically, all right, carbon fiber. Graphite fiber or graphite fibers, about to 5 to 10 micrometers in diameter and composed mostly of carbon atoms. Carbon fibers have several advantages, including high stiffness, high tensile strength, low weight, high chemical resistance, high temperature tolerance, and low thermal expansion. These properties have made carbon fiber very popular in aerospace, civil engineering, military, and mortar sports, along with the other competition sports. However, they are relatively expensive when compared with similar fibers, such as fiberglass, plastic fibers. To produce a carbon fiber, the carbon atoms are bonded together in crystals, and they are more or less aligned parallel to the long axis of the fibers as the crystal's alignment gives the fiber high strength to volume ratio. In other words, it is strong for its size. Several thousand carbon fibers are bundled together to form a toe, which may be used in itself or woven into a fabric. And if you want to read the rest, you can. So basically, it's resin cooked with uh, carbon atoms to form a beautiful. Uh, they, you know what, and this, this is carbon fiber right here, but they have colored carbon fibers. They have a uh, many different kinds of carbon fiber. I'm going to show some close-ups of these, like even like this one. Now what, one thing we are not talking about, you know what, I might be able to show you the sides of this one too. I need to get my lighting a little bit better. Okay. One thing we are not talking about 
fake carbon fiber. This is fake carbon fiber. This is just a laminate over the top of G10. A knife I modified a long time ago. We are not talking about that kind. We are talking about real carbon fiber. And now, what is Micarta? Micarta is a brand name for composite of linen, canvas, paper, fiberglass, carbon fiber, or other fabric in a thermal setting plastic. It was originally used in electrical and decorative applications. Micarta was developed by George Westinghouse at least as early as 1910 using uh, phenolic resins invented by Leo Baconland. I'm guessing that's his name. These resins were used to impregnate paper and cotton fabric which were which were curved under pressure and high temperature to produce laminates. In later years, these manufacturing methods included the, the use of fiberglass fabric and other resins types were also used. Today, Micarta high pressure industrial laminates are produced with a wide variety of resins and fibers. The term has been used generically for most resin impregnated fiber compounds. Common use uses of modern high pressure laminates are as electrical insulators, printed circuit boards, substrates, and knife handles. So, um, basically what it is, is they take fabrics, different kinds of fabrics. There's all different kinds of fabrics. There's cottons, there's linens, there's, you know, all different kinds of fabrics. And they put it in a resin, uh, cure it, and then you get some very hard, strong, lightweight, shatterproof material. And there's, uh, I mean, you can use cork, cotton cloth, paper, uh, fibers, um, substraints, um, all different kinds, synthetic yarn fabrics, glass fibers, unwoven fa fabrics, um, all different kinds of fabrics and materials can be put into a resin and made into a micarta to give you different patterns. Look, if you notice, these are two different patterns. And then there's also different finishes you can put on them. So some of them come with like a polish finish, more like a, like you see this, how it's kind of, this is slick. There's no texture here. Now something like this, lots of texture. So this is going to break in. And technically these two right here are the same. So this is like a polished version of this. This Lots of texture. It actually feels almost like a pair of jeans. And then like some Levi jeans right there. And then this feels like hard plastic basically. Even though it's the same thing. It's just that it's um, polished. So, okay. Next subject. Let's talk about advantages and disadvantages. So, advantages in carbon fiber. It's lightweight. It's, um... Comfortable in the hand, right? Comfortable in the hand. It's very strong. It's um, shatterproof, uh, temperature uh, resistant, like the, or should I say the expansion from temperatures is uh, very low. So you have a chance of going into high and hot and cold temperatures and it not expanding and messing up, you know, the tolerances. Um, it's beautiful. All right, looks really good, comfortable in the hand, um, and uh, like I said, shatterproof. So like when you drop it and it hits the ground, it's not just going to explode and shatter. Fiberglass is more known to do that, uh, um, and carbon fiber is very lightweight. Um, what's the disadvantages? It's expensive, right? It's expensive, and it, it even though you can mill lines into things. Um, like, like kind of like this, how this has this thing right here. You can mill it to where it gives it a little texture, but for the most part, it's kind of slick. It is slick. Um, so not a lot of grip. Um, like I said, I know you can mill lines and stuff like that, but then it kind of takes away from the beauty. Um, another advantage, you can make it colored. Another disadvantage is, uh, um, the uh the voids so when they're milling carbon fiber now when you get in really close to carbon fiber a lot of it has voids 
Now, there are some that are very, very well done, like this one. Where you don't really see many voids. Let's just zoom in here. Looks really, really good. Everything's nice in line. They even put a little swell right here. Very, very nice. But, sometimes you find some with voids. Let's see if we can find any voids. Um, I kind of see a little, like the holes are usually where you're going to see it the most. This carbon fiber was very well done. But I'm telling you, like there are, it's very likely if you look around little spots, you will see the holes have little, oops, sorry, have little chips and stuff in them. Must, um, but that, that is something that is very common with carbon fiber. Um, these all seem to be pretty well done. I tried to grab some really good examples. I do have a lot of different variations, but carbon fiber does get voids. And what it basically does is it gets these little holes and like chip marks around edges. Like I said, these are all really well done. So it's a poor example for me to, um, to show. Let's see if we can find some in this one. Um, you might be able to see some right there a little bit, maybe. Maybe not. <clears throat> but, very, very cool. Now, if you're wanting to know the names of these knives, <laughs> since I haven't been saying them, this is the Best Tech Mini Goblin. This is the Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop. This is the Tucson TS-129, Tucson TS-126. This is the um, the Quest Custom Gent. This is the Kubi um, Eris. This is the Artisan Shark. Um, Tucson 158. This is the Minimalist. Ace Biblio. Uh, Spedico Shaman. Uh, CR, uh, CRKT Razel. The Penguin. QSP Penguin. Um... Civivi Elementum, Civivi Hooligan, and then the, the, um, the heck is the name of this? The Buck Mesa. All right, so, sorry about that. Um, you guys probably just fast forward to do that area. So, now, what's the advantages and disadvantages of Micarta? So, Micarta has a lot of the same advantages. Um, it has a warm, uh, feeling to it. That's one thing. It does have a little bit warmer feeling than I think Micarta has, or I mean carbon fiber. Carbon fiber has more of a colder feeling, even though it's warmer than metal. Um, Micarta tends to be a little bit more warmer. It's very strong. It's shatterproof. It's very light. It can be expensive, but not as expensive as carbon fiber. Now, um, it does come in different colors, different patterns, different cuts. Um, it's very, very strong. Very lightweight, easy to mill out. Um, it's uh, there's different textures, like like I was saying before, different textures, um, different patterns. And look at this one, very cool looking. And you see it has different patterns. I like this Micarta, a little minimalist. Okay, so and also here, let's check this one out too. Very, very cool. I love this Micarta. This is, I love the texture of this. Micarta is super comfortable in the hand. What's the disadvantages of it? I guess, like I said, it could be a little expensive sometimes. Sometimes not, you know, give or take. Um, I guess, uh, um, there's lots of different materials and there's possibilities or I'm not going to say possibilities because this can be an advantage to you. This is going to be what you think, but it, it does show wear. So it patinas. So basically like the more I handle, okay, you know, you know what? Actually, let me go to this one. You see this side, this is after it's been handled. Now Kara carried it and it cleaned itself. So basically this is, um, you know, like the more you touch it, 
the more darker it gets or lighter, um, usually darker, the colors change. It does show patina. Now you can scrub it and clean it, but it shows patina and it shows age. Now, if you get a polished version like this, where they basically have like the epoxy coat on the top layer, it doesn't do that. So depending on the micarta you get will determine whether or not it patinas or, you know, breaks in in different ways. So, um, but yeah. And then also with the voids and stuff, I don't, I haven't seen, it doesn't have voids like carbon fiber. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to be able to find stuff because they are a little more rougher cut. Um, so, but that's kind of the beauty of, um, of micarta is that you have that, uh, that, uh, I don't know how to word it, the, um, like kind of like the rough cut, you know, the rough edges, the fibers, you know, sometimes the fibers are kind of hanging out a little bit to give that comfort, that beauty, that rough feeling, the outdoors feeling. Okay. Who are they made for? Okay. I think. Carbon fiber, especially, is made for more of the 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 person that wants a lightweight knife that looks good. That's more of I'm not going to say just gentleman carry because there are some hard use knives that have some nice inlays, and that's another thing you know like there's inlays and different ways to build it to where you can piece it together to where it's not just full carbon fiber or anything like that now you know depending on what you get but i feel like the carbon fiber is a little bit more for the gent carry you know like the um it's a little more beautiful, a little more expensive, um, you know, like it, it's very lightweight. It doesn't add a lot of texture. It's not really more for your hard use. Now there, like I said, there's ways to just put inserts into where you can still get the hard use out of it because it's not going to be the main textured area. It's just going to be like an inlay or like this one where it's just one side. Um, and then you put your texture on the other side, and then you have your texture of your knife. What's who's micarta made for? I think micarta is made for more of the worker. The um, and not, now the, these are all you can vice versa these. So don't don't take any of this stuff I'm saying to heart. But I feel like micarta is more for the person that wants to use their knife. Somebody who likes to see their knife patina with them, and it it um, basically shows the colors from their use and what they do with it, rather than the same thing for everybody. Because you can have the exact same knife and the same micarta, two different people carrying it, and they'll both patina a little bit different. Now you can clean them and then you know re patina re use them and patina them and they'll show a different you know different pattern so but it's for the person that wants a nice warm comfortable knife um somebody maybe who works outdoors a little bit or in different temperatures so he doesn't want his knife to get hot or cold because that's another thing they, that even though it's got a warm feeling to it it doesn't get hot like uh like metal will you know you leave uh, a metal knife out in the sun come and grab it if it's gonna burn you the micarta won't so um i do think uh it's you know more for the person that it's gonna be dropping their knife and scuffing it up because it doesn't really scratch it doesn't scuff up and if you do scratch it it's not a big deal um i mean it's it just you know it looks good still it's not a big deal so and if I did that to say this carbon fiber right here, I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> but that's something you won't mind doing to your micarta, right? I mean, it's you know just one of those things. Why would you want them? Um, I personally like my carbon fiber because it looks good, and I like my micart my micarta for the beauty. I'm not gonna say the beauty, but the patining. The, the, the comfort, the, um, uh, the way I can make it mine, um, the way it looks. I love the rough, 
look of it. I love how it you know, changes color and carbon fiber. I like the way it looks. I really like the side cuts. Like I was saying that they are doing with these, with the Micarta, where you get the, the sides, um, the, the pattern. I love that the most. I don't have a knife that's specifically cut like, or with the Micarta cut like that. But I love the different patterns and colors. You know, the more carbon fi fibers, you know, it's, you know, there's different patterns and stuff. And I think uh, that it looks really good and can make a knife really lightweight yet very comfortable and strong you know it's so there's lots of reasons why you would want them now which is stronger um actually you know what before we go to that which is stronger let's talk about care and maintenance so with carbon fiber you can basically just wash it um, without a problem and it doesn't really soak water really now micarta will micarta will absorb water and it will swell a little bit now that's not a problem it will dry off so if you want to clean it to where like say if it starts getting dark you can easily clean it and bring it back to its normal thing but a lot of people like how it absorbs the oils and patinas but you can scrub it and just clean it. Carbon fiber is going to be easier to clean than micarta. So, you know. And then also you can take a little, like a high grit sandpaper to micarta and carbon fiber. You can do that. But I recommend just, you know, just polishing it up with, a, um, with you know, a rag or something like that. Just cleaning it. Unless you absolutely have to, then use a very high, uh, sandpaper high grit like you know like a very high high grit almost like a polishing sandpaper now which is stronger now this is the one i'm going to let you guys decide on because i don't know i honestly don't know i was trying to go back and forth on this and i want to say micarta because of the linen because it's like it's like cloth like say if i lay this on top of this and then on top of this and then you know just keep folding it over and then put epoxy on it and compress it now when i break this right it's not gonna break it's just gonna bend it's gonna be really strong um so carbon fiber is the same way except for it's more of a weave so i don't know maybe carbon fiber is stronger maybe micarta stronger what do you think let me know because i'd like to know but I think it's very beautiful what we can do with these materials, especially all the different colors and stuff, different patterns. It's amazing the different cuts and, you know, it's, I really like both the materials. I probably like Micarta just a little bit better. I think it, you know, like kind of reminds me of me. I'm a little rough around the edges and that's the way Micarta is. Love you guys. Peace.